Pressure off. One minute to go in round six. Cotto with another one of his flurries. And another uppercut. Margarito misses with the right hand as Cotto steps away. Through most of his career, Miguel Cotto has used his feet to put pressure on opposing fighters. Tonight, he's trying to use his feet to keep pressure off. It's a classic reversal. And now Margarito throws all the shots as Cotto looks for space. Well, right away, as soon as he lands that throw, Margarita's running him down again. And that's the very discouraging to any fighter. Hard right hand by Cotto. And a good left hook. Margarito fires look away out, to the out. body three times. I think Cotto's actually sharp dominating left. this round again. But Margarito is really making him pay a price in this round with those body shots. Cotto blocked most of those and then slipped the others. But it looks to the crowd as though Margarito is putting all the pressure on. Tremendous combat in the sixth. The family Cotto at ringside. There's the misses. There are four children surrounding them. Breathe deeply, breathe deeply. Let's see. Put them out. Doing very good. Don't stay, don't stay against the ropes too long. Get out there, get outside, move. Come on, son, you're inside. Throw, throw the hook. Here you see Margarita putting on a tremendous amount of pressure, but he's paying the price. As he's coming in, applying the pressure, momentum may be going in his direction, but the clean punches are landed by Cotto. Power shots in round six. Miguel Cotto, 20 out of 44. Antonio Margarito threw 75 power water, shots, but landed 22 of them. So the much higher connect percentage for Cotto. And Harold Letterman, how do you have it halfway through? Look at you. 58, 56, four rounds to two. Uh, Miguel Cotto. Jim, Miguel Cotto is boxing a beautiful fight. Winning this fight at clean punches and ring generalship. But in round six, Antonio Margarito figured the only way I'm going to get to this guy is to slow him up with body shots. And I thought he whacked real well to the body to win that round. I've got a 4 to 2 total, but Jim Davis has got to let Margarito fight inside. Otherwise, Margarito don't have a chance. Certainly, Margarito Emanuel, as you mentioned, changed the momentum in the last round. The momentum is amazing going to Margarito, even though he may be losing the fight. But he's getting closer and closer. He's landing his punches, and he's working that shot I told you about up through the center very effectively now, the left uppercut. Yep. Th this, is the first, again. this is the first round where I feel that Margarito is fighting on even terms with yeah. Cotto. So, even, even if I would be in Cotto's corner, I would be really. Cotto's hurt, guys. Cotto's badly hurt by a series of Margarito uppercuts that hammered him. Margarito goes right back to the left-hand uppercut. Cotto is in trouble along the ropes. Biggest trouble he's been in oh, since the Ricardo Torres fight several years ago. Margarito stalking and stalking. And this ain't Ricardo Torres. Cotto's looking for breathing room, and there is none. He has to fight his way out for breathing room. He gets hit by a hard right hand. Margarito throwing uppercut after uppercut. He might launch 120 punches in the round. Cotto turns southpaw. Hits Margarito with a left hand and backs away. Miguel Cotto blowing blood out of his nose and his mouth after that violent assault by Antonio Margarito. I think we're seeing the effects of that body work that Harold was talking and about. And now a series round. of clean punches for Cotto. And another left hook gives him breathing room to back away. Cotto blocking most of these, but under severe pressure as he does so. Switches southpaw again. Hits Margarito in the mouth with the left hand. Margarito with an unbelievable chin just keeps coming. Yeah. It's that amazing Margarito beard that's putting a lot of pressure on Miguel Jim. Cotto. Miguel just can't hurt him. Jim, this is exactly the way I figured the fight was going to go. Now we have our classic. But you know, Cotto right has left hand beard. by Cotto. Cotto's been in these situations somewhat to some degree, but never with a big man like this. Tremendous the shots by Cotto. Another uppercut. Cotto trying to get a rest. 
spun around. How are you feeling? Okay. Come on, put your hands in. Power shots. Power shots. Put your hands in. Power shots. Pop it. Get off the ropes. Get off the ropes. Girl, you see Margarita Roland putting on tremendous pressure, throwing so many punches, and all of them are powerful, particularly the left uppercut, which I predicted would be his best punch in us. But right now, Cotto's having a problem because all of those such as the short left hook, it was just a matter of so many punches coming from so many angles. Antonio Margarito has legendary stamina. He enhanced that credential in that round, throwing 130 punches, landing 48 of them, 46 of 104 power shots. Cotto landed 23 of 52, and some of them were hellacious punches, but Margarito is walking right through them. It's a lot of guys who have those big volume of punches, but usually they're guys who don't have much punching power. Margarita is one of the few guys that throws a lot of punches and has power almost in every punch. Two good jabs for Cotto. He's going to have to try to find a way to make it more of a boxing match again. Through seven rounds, Antonio Margarito has already thrown more power punches against Miguel Cotto than any opponent had ever managed in any fight in 32 previous professional fights up to now. Well, we know Cotto has showed his grit before. That's one thing I have. Now, he's been a true warrior. He's been in bad shape a lot of times, and he's came back and not just survived, but one fight. So you can't never count him out. But he's never been able to get a figure this big. Though. He's facing epic pressure tonight. Antonio Margarito is bringing the frustrations and the impatience of a long career of waiting to this moment against Miguel Cotto, leaving nothing to chance. Constantly releasing his hands in bunches. You know, not only is Cotto the better boxer, I think he's the heavier puncher, but he doesn't take the shots as well as Margarito. Who does? That's a good point, man. Who does? Cotto's landing thudding blows, and Margarito is stepping right through them and dancing forward. He's moving with his little jig. He's just as happy like he enjoys the situation. And he can't get to Cotto fast enough. Cotto's done a good job of sort of getting the genie back into the bottle in this round. He's limiting Margarito's flow with his footwork and the southpaw stance that he turns to from time to time. Hasn't been trapped as often as he was in the last round. But it still is Margarito pressuring, pressuring, pressuring. Cotto lands a combination and a big uppercut and steps away. That right hand from Margarito keeps coming up just a little short but it's getting closer and closer. Margarito reaching with the right hand there as Cotto uncharacteristically moved to his right. Miguel dodging, trying to slip punches. Margarito just throwing and throwing when they get close. This was a round in which Miguel Cotto seemed to want to regain his equilibrium and a mental foothold in the fight. And he may have it back as we go to the ninth. Put the pail up. All right, put it here. Put your head in. Swing the jab, then you hook him. He's tired, he's tired. How are we going? How are we going? We're going good. I think we're winning. I think we're winning, but don't be overconfident. Okay, okay, okay.
shots at eight. According to copy box numbers, Cotto 14 out of 33, Margarito 20 out of 59. You heard Javier Capetillo saying to Margarito, I think we're winning. On Harold Letterman's scorecard, the fight is now even through eight rounds. What a drama we might be looking at in the last four rounds. Jim, I have Cotto up a couple points, but it seems to me that Cotto wants this fight to end. He wishes it was over already, whereas Margarito thinks the fight is just beginning. That Cotto, in a weird way, is in survival mode, wants to run out the clock. I would agree with you on that, Max. I think that uh, I would maybe have possibly Cotto still ahead, possibly. You all get excited about the last rounds and the most exciting, but still Cotto had a lot of rounds in the bank. But it's the momentum of the fight and who...